Yeah, tell me. No, you, you, tell no, me. You, said, you said it eight thirty, right? So I'll say it since eight thirty. Yes, yes, yes. Even I was here, but the okay. meeting was not started. I was. Uh, you will get a screen telling waiting for admin to start the meeting. Yes, yes, yes. Then yeah. yes, um, I think then then they realized okay, it is at uh, nine o'clock. They were assuming it's at nine o'clock. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, so let's do. I I have like a hour and twenty minutes. One hour twenty minutes. Okay. Okay. Fine. 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 We'll get started. Yeah. Yes. Open the same. In fact, we had shared with you some time back. Chris. Yeah, we yeah. had uh, solved uh, two examples, right, on declaring variables and uh, okay, how to interact with the database. That's what I was telling. We will not do something like addition, subtraction, multiplication, all on the database. We put we do something on the database using PLS skill, which is to interact with the table. So yes. when we go to interact with the tables, what we try to do? We try to do an insert, an update, a delete, a commit, a, a select, and things like that. Yes. Yeah. So. Uh, we see now we see how do how do we do an insert update or a delete inside a PLS SQL block? Yeah. Yeah. This is the third example. Very so the, just the third example in the file PLS SQL one. Yeah. Yes. So if you observe insert into table name values, okay, you have a set of values insert into table name values. Okay. Then there is a commit. Yeah. There is an update statement, update table name set column equal to value. So yeah. the syntax of insert, the syntax of update, the syntax of delete, it looks exactly same like how we used to have them in the skip. Yes. Is there anything different in PLS skill? Nothing. They are exactly same like how we had them in SQL. Yeah. Absolutely fine. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the presence of commit, commit will do its job, rollback will do its job, everything remains the same. Yeah. Okay. If you, if you run this block, you will get a message uh, PLSQL procedure successfully completed. If yeah. you run this block, you will get a no. message PLSQL procedure successfully completed. Yeah. But there won't yeah. be any display here because we, we are not having a, a DBMS output statement. You remember, DBMS yeah. output, uh, to get some display, first thing what we have to do is set server output on. Please yeah. type uh, that question. In this example, it's not there. But going further, we will have examples for today. It should give us some display. So, set server output on. Yeah. This is the first thing you will type at your SQL prompt. Yeah. No, I I, I, did this, I did this last night. Like you know, I just, I just going yeah. practice and I did the uh, server output and everything. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, you, so you did this insert example also. You could yeah. find a row in the table. You could update something. Okay. Yeah, now yeah. let me take you to. How to do a select inside a PLS scale block? Select is different. Select is not like how we did earlier. Okay, uh, how we did select in uh, SQL? He wrote select column one, column two, column three from table. That's it. We have to write a simple select statement, right? Select whatever you want from the table name. Yes. But now in PLS scale, if at all you want to read something from a table, you should have been declared some variables which are going to hold the value what you are trying to read from the table, right? Okay. If at all you have to read something from the table, you must be declaring some variables which are going to hold the value what you are going to read from the table. So okay. Select column 1, column 2, column 3, into, we have to use the into clause, into variable 1, variable 2, variable 3, from the table with the right condition. It should be very specific in what you're trying to read on okay. to what you're going to put the value what you're reading. Okay. Yeah. Only yeah. then your select is going to work. So mm -hmm. now we cannot do select start from EMP here because it is going to get us all eight eight columns, all fourteen rows. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. So what are we go what can we do? We can read just a column value into a variable. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can read a few columns. And for this also, those that many number of variables should be declared? Yes. So the select statement what we write inside a PLS scale block should have a where clause? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. If there is no where clause, if there is no where clause, all employee names are going to be read, all employee salaries are going to be read, and this salary is going to be put on the variable. So these are the points to remember when we go to write a select statement inside a PLS scale block. Okay. Now, okay. I don't know if you executed this example. Getting the salary and job of a given employee. To get the salary of an employee, I declare a variable, v underscore sal. 
to get the job of an employee, I have declared a variable V underscore job. Okay. Now, select these two columns, salary comma job, into these two variables from the table with the rare condition. What is the employee number? Whichever employee number you pass at runtime, that particular employee's salary and job are going to be read. Yeah. So what's the seven and two? Seven comma two is the size of the field. So it can be seven two decimal yeah. digits, two okay. half of the decimal point, and okay. tie to the real part. Yeah. We did this during create table. Yes, yes, DDS. yes. We specified the data type of the column and things like that. Okay. Have you tried but, this example, Chris? No, but think it. Oh, I, I thought we we already defined the table. Like, how can we again define a table again? Like in the uh, that layer, can we can we do that? Or? No, no, no. This is just a variable, Chris. This is just a variable, variable of okay. this data type. Right? Yeah, yeah, which is going to hold the value what you're going to read from the table. That's it. Okay. So it's you're just the value it's, it's, from it's the, it's yeah. It's a tempor temporary. Yes, it's temporary. What is the scope and lifetime of this? Just this block. Here is a variable declared in the block, and this block, variable is known only in this block. That is it. That's it. Okay. So, so enter the value for employee number. Yeah, you will be entering an employee number. For the employee number, whatever you enter, you're going to get the what you're going to get. You're going to get the salary and job. Yeah. So just let's say employee number ten. Oh, there are, I thought there is, oh, there is, okay, I don't know what the employee number is. So, yes, oh, wait, wait. you enter 10, it's okay, you enter 10, let us see yeah. what's happening. So, it happens like, you know, uh, old, uh, there's like two, two lines, so one yeah, is old, old five, new uh, five, uh, an old five, okay. the self cell job, uh, well, uh, from employee, where employee number, uh, new, okay. select cell job. Okay, it will take the value job. what you enter. Mm -hmm. so after that, you will get some message, you know, some yeah, output. Okay, so it's like a, uh, error at line one. Huh. ORA is, what? okay, no data found. Yes, no data found. That is what I'm looking at. Yeah. You gave an employee number which is not there in the table, and you're yeah. trying to read that value in the PLSQL block. Yeah. Okay, here you're getting a runtime error, no data found. Remember this. We will work yeah. on it later. Okay. okay, in SQL, this will not be an error. This will show zero row selected. Yes. In SQL, if you go to read something from the table which is not there in the table, it will just show us zero row selected. It will not give us an error. But here we are getting a runtime error, no data found. Can you, can I, Vati, can I ask one thing? This is all like, it looks all like, you know, uh, black and white screen to me. But is there a tool that I can actually like download and then see? Like, yeah. Results from the down in the in the in the in, in the in the, uh, in the bottom part and then like how does it work? You know what I'm saying? You understand, right? Yes. So it, yes. 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 There are tools. There are tools. Yeah. Okay. Oracle's uh, its own tool is a skill developer. Okay. A skill developer. Can I download okay. it? And you can download. But wait, wait, wait. Yeah. So you can download it. You can connect it, and you you can you have to configure this tool to connect to a database. Okay, uh, but actually the software what we have on our machine is Express Edition, it's not Enterprise Edition. Okay, okay. But so, still you can do the uh, connection, you, okay, you can connect, you can configure, you should know the IP, you should know the name of your machine or the IP address of your machine and you can okay. establish a connection. Once you get connected, you can start working on that system, no problem, a skill developer. There are so many other third party tools like Toad, Toad. Yeah. Toad, yes. Yeah, I, I, I yes. used to work out Toad, like, you know, for, for like, and I, just to, uh, just to, yeah, I, I saw in some presentations, yeah, Toad. Yeah, that's what yes. I was wondering, like, you know, okay. is, there a tool, is there a tool that I can, like, and see? Yeah, yeah, there are tools. Yeah. Yes. This is, this, is, for me, yeah. this is a command okay. prompt, correct. This is a command prompt, black and white screen. That would yeah. be more uh, user-friendly, uh, UI-based user interface. Yes. User-friendly, exactly. You, there are tools. See, and one more thing, real time, if you in a project, nobody is going to work on this black and white screen because yeah. it's going to make their job very difficult. For somebody who's learning for the first time, yeah. you need to learn everything. You need to learn all the commands from scratch. So yeah. this kind of an interface would be useful for you. But okay. somebody who's doing a real time coding, who write lengthy blocks of code, this yeah. interface would be time consuming. Yes. 
So give an employee number for the same example, give an employee number 7902, you could, you could see the result. Now, how do we execute the same block again? You have pasted the block, you have executed it, it is asking for an employee number, you gave an employee number, yeah. okay, 10, which is not there in the table. Now just give a slash and give the employee number 7902, you will get the details displayed. Slash and uh, 7902, okay. Yes. No, first go only give slash and then give 7902 when it is asking for the employee number. Okay, hold on. So, how do how do we get get out of the uh, the block code? I, I have like fifteen rows now. How do we get out, get out of that thing? No, no, no. There are no, there are no fifteen rows. The block is only one, two, three, four. No, no. Five, six, I, I did I did some mistake here. Yeah. No, I did some mistake. So after after okay, after. Okay, just after, give a dot. Dot. Okay, just give a dot dot okay, dot and okay. enter. Okay, now I'll a copy. new line. Okay, now yes. copy. Now the now now should I paste it again? Where are it? you? You are at the command prompt or you are yeah. in the editor? Yeah, now I'm com command prompt, sorry. Now I'm on command prompt. Yeah. So should I paste just the... Just type ED. No, ED? no, just type ED. Yes, ED. Why? Okay. ED. So, uh, ED okay. will open it in an editor? Yes, yes, yes. So should I paste it to you? Yeah, yeah. Remove the ones which are already there and just paste this block of code. You are only placing this much. I did like that. Close the editor. Close the editor. Close the editor. Save the changes, close the editor, come back to your prompt. Okay. Yes, save. And then, yep. And then say, what's that? Come back to your prompt. Yep. With backslash. Yes. It will once again ask for the employee number? Yes. Yes, now enter the employee number. 7902 is it? Yes, yes. yes. He is yeah. existing, so he will not give you any error. Yes, so PL SQL procedure is successfully completed. You, did you get the display of the employee name and salary? Mm. It's not come. That's no. because that server output on is off. Oh, output is off? Yes. You have to type once again, set server output on. Ah, oh, okay. See, okay, I'll tell you one more thing. Whenever there's any error, no, something goes yeah. wrong, the server output becomes off automatically. Though, it, though you have set it to on, it becomes off automatically. So once oh. again, you have, to, you have to set it to on. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, so how do I set it on? I guess I set, set the... Uh... Just type. Type, type. Set the FET set. That server output. Server output going on. Okay, now I got it. Yeah, so. Get could have put it on. Yeah. So how how do I uh, how do I enter the uh, value again? Backslash. No, just give a slash. Yes, slash. Slash Backslash. is always run the block. Yes. Okay, run, it runs the previous block. Yes, exactly. Okay. Previous code or previous block. Okay, so it's like PLC is successful. So this, so every every output will be in, in this, like for example, toad or for every example will be in the bottom of the uh, uh, yeah, screen. Yeah, that's a different UI. That's a different interface. That's the bottom of the screen. Here it will immediately be after the example only. Example only. See, that's a separate result section. That's a separate, a separate result section. So toad is like a third party tool? Yes, exactly. So why didn't why don't they use it? So SQL and all these guys don't don't have their own tools. So Toad is it? What they, they do have? They do have one. What SQL Developer is a tool of Oracle itself. Okay. Oracle is its own tool. Is SQL Developer. Okay, but everyone uses most of the people uses Toad. Yes, yes, yes. Toad is from different company itself. Yes, different company. Oh, okay, fair enough. Okay, now the uh, I got three one zero zero with the analyst. Yes. So you got the salary of the employee, you got the job of the employee, yeah. whose number you had given to the block. This is how we read data in PLSQL. How do we read data? We declare variables which are going to hold the value, what you want to read. You are going to populate these variables with values and display okay. them or use them or do whatever you want. So it okay. becomes so difficult, no? Uh, it is not so easy like how we wrote 
సెలెక్ట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇన్ ఎస్కేల్ యూ రోట్ సో మెనీ సెలెక్ట్ ఇన్ ఎస్కేల్ నో సెలెక్ట్ హాఫ్ అండ్ టేబుల్ నేమ్ మై జాయిన్ క్వెరీ యా సబ్ క్వెరీ సో ఆల్ దట్ బికమ్స్ వెరీ ఛాలెంజింగ్ హియర్ నో అపార్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ నో డేటా ఫౌండ్ ఎరర్ వాట్ వి గాట్ వి కెన్ డు ఫ్యూ మోర్ మిస్టేక్స్ ఇన్ సచ్ ఎ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ what kind of other mistakes we can do in this kind of an example we would have declared variables of wrong type yes we declared v underscore sal to be of number type number of 7 comma 2 assume the salary of the college is quite big 7 comma 2 is not enough to hold the salary of the employee mm-hmm. yeah sometimes yeah okay we yeah sometimes yes character of 20 we give var care of 20 for job Assume that there's an employee with job more than 20 characters? Yes. There is employee of the job more than 20 characters? Yes. So, what's going to happen in that case? This block of code is going to give you error because the data types what we have declared are not, okay, compatible to hold the column value what we are reading. So, yes. in this kind of case, Oracle gives you something called as anchored declaration which is very widely used in PLS scale of Oracle. The same example is repeated again, where I've declared a variable v underscore sal to be of employee table salary percentage type. v underscore job is a variable to be of employee table job percentage type. What does it mean? It can hold a value of employee table salary column. Okay, this variable can hold a value of any value from the job column of employee table. So whatever is the data type of job, whatever is the size of job, everything is copied to these variables. So okay. we won't get any errors. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So, yes. so, yeah, yeah. so, so, yeah, so when you say percent when you say percentage, it's like anything, yeah, anything. Yeah, per- uh, yeah. yeah. No, no. It's, no, no. This is syntax of declaring a variable, percentage type, table name. Okay, I'll tell you. Table name, dot column name, percentage type. Table name is employee, EMP, dot. Column name is sal, percentage type. So, V yeah. underscore sal is a variable which can hold one column value of sal into it. If employee table of sal into it, okay. Yes. That, that can hold anything, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Yes, any sal. Yeah. I just need to copy and paste this. Okay, uh, anchor declarations. Can you ask him to send the uh, 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 the video from the last, even the, even the last one, not the not the yesterday ones, but the one before? I I I last. Sorry, uh, they have sent you this, but not the videos. Okay, I last. I tell them. You can also drop a mail to them. No, I I, I did. I, I'm even ask, I'm even asking before you come. I, I'm even asking the presenter to. Uh, no, no, the person who was taking care all these days is on leave for two days. So maybe he'll be back and he will share it with you. Okay, okay, thank you. The one who was no, you, 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 on you, There are a couple, three more classes, like in class 9, class 13, 11, I guess he never sent. Oh, okay, I, then I'll, I'll tell them. Would you please tell them, thank you. Because it's class yeah. 8 and 8, I, I need to like, I, I, I'm not able to understand it at all anymore. I'm trying to understand. And 8 and 9 was, what, was on what, uh, Krish? Class 8 and uh, 9? That's okay. the, the thing you, you combine join in inner joints. A joint, okay. Yeah, inner joints, yeah. It's like, uh, so enter the value of an employee number. Let's say if I say yeah, 10, enter, 10 uh, 790. Again, error, no data, huh? No data, yeah, but 790 is the, yeah, so it's exactly the same one. Yes, it's the same example. Exactly yeah. the same one, but they're declaring a variable. It could be of anchored type. Okay, mm-hmm. percentage type, which can hold a column value from any table. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is this is not hard coded. This is just for. Uh, so. Yeah, so, we cannot hard code, right? No. Basically. So, so what? What's, what's, hard the, code. what's the point of this? Point of this is I can you can you can successfully enter the uh, the employee numbers as many employee numbers as you want to get the uh, salary to get the required information out. Is that what the Each whole time you run this exam, it is it is going to get you the salary of one employee. You yeah. run the example second time, you can pass a different employee number. Exactly. So you can yeah. be using the same code again and again for different employee numbers. Yeah. Yeah. My question is, so how do you save this? Save this one. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll come to that. That is what okay, we okay. need to learn. We'll do okay, that okay. later. We have just started the PLS skill. What okay. we are doing now, we are writing nameless blocks. We are not trading yes. them. They are lifeless. So very good question you asked. We are going to put the same thing in a block and give a name to it so that it sits permanently in the database. Okay, so whenever so you want, you can call it. That okay. is just for procedures. That okay. is what we need to do in real time. We are just learning the syntax of PLS skill now. Okay. Once we get to know all the concepts of PLS skill, we put them all in a block and give a name to the block. Okay. So so that block. So my question can I ask you that block is so okay. This this is only is called in the database itself, not to the... So you're saying that this won't be called to the front end? This won't exist at all, Chris. This is temporary. This is exist. just now. You executed, yeah. finished. Yeah. That's it. That's the end of it. But okay. that one, what we are going to create with the name, is going to permanently be present in your schema, and you can call it from your Java layer. That is okay. what we will be doing, right? There okay. will be a calculate tax button on the UI, front yeah. end. Click the button, behind the scene, so many yeah. things would happen. Remember the first day we, we checked some logic, you shared yeah. me one link and the same thing. Yeah, you yeah. click the button, behind the scene all this will happen. So yeah, there okay. would be some code which is written permanently in the database. Yes, yeah, that's true. Okay, so yeah. So, is this okay. done? Okay, yeah. yeah. Thank you. So, this is how we try to read. Yeah. Now, this is how we try to read something from a table in a PLS scale block. Okay, yeah. our tables, our tables are so big, okay, they will have 30, 40 columns. If you want to read all the column values, if you want to read all the column values, we need to declare that many number of variables. Yes. Our declaration section will become very lengthy. Declare, yes, it, it would, yes. Yes, so what we do, to hold one full row of a table, just go scroll down and go for this record type of declaration. We are declaring a single variable which can hold one full row of a table. See, V underscore E row is a variable which can hold EMP percentage row type. What does it mean? It can hold one full row of employee table. So the number of variables what we declare is drastically reduced. We are having a single variable to hold one full row of the table. Okay. So the row type is the uh, is a keyword. Yes. Yeah, it's a keyword. Like how we did percentage type, column name percentage yes. type. Now okay. it is table percentage row type. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So v underscore zero. Wait, wait. Let me explain. V underscore zero is a variable which can hold one full row of employee table. Okay. Any full row. Any row of employee table. So when this can, this can hold everything. See my query. My query is select star, select all the columns into this variable from the table, but only one row, no? It cannot be more than one row. So, yeah. their employee number equal to 7902. Now, uh, one full row is here. Now, how do we display the values? V underscore e row dot emp, you know. Display only the employee number. Give some space. Display the employee name. Give some space. Display the job. Give some space. Display salary space and display the manager of 7902. Who is 7902? An employee. Okay. Yeah. You got it correct? Earlier yeah. we wrote an example just to read a few columns of the table. Now we are having an example to read one full row of the table. Yes. Yeah. yeah, please do this. Okay. Please do this. Just a second. I'll come back. One second. Yeah.
Okay, so. Is this done, Chris? Okay, just a second. I'm just, okay. Take care. Yeah, there are so many examples in here. I just try. Yeah, I'm just trying to like. No record sure. type declaration. You just okay. go for the record type declaration. Okay. We'll come to the others later. I just yeah made it scroll down. We'll come okay, to yeah. the others later. Edit and paste. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I then entered. A successful name completed. Okay. So we are not okay. Okay. So we don't have to. So it, it won't ask you the uh, for the for the input anymore. Yeah, we have hard-coded 7902. Just this example. If okay. you don't want to hard-code, you can say I'm the sign. Yes. 